Hey everybody, welcome back to another Momentum Monday. My name is Mac. Today we're gonna to talk about how to add Google Analytics tag and a pixel to your Squarespace website. Thanks for watching. If you are a small business owner, entrepreneur, marketer, you're gonna want these pixels and these codes added to your website to get you more business, collect more data, and have more success with marketing. My name is Mac Frederick, owner and founder of Momentum. I am a small business advocate and I talk about digital marketing for small businesses and anything Google and SEO related. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button and turn on the little bell icon to get post notifications anytime we post to YouTube. If you haven't yet, share this with friends and family because we talk about all the business tips and tricks with digital marketing for small business owners just like you. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get into the details. So let's show you how to add Google Analytics and the Facebook Pixel for tracking and analytics to your new Squarespace site. So if you're logged into Squarespace, go to squarespace.com, log in. Uh, you'll see the dashboard panel on the left-hand side here. You know, you can click through to marketing. Uh, you know, you can add it. I'm gonna move myself over here. Uh, you can get Google Ads credit. You know, you can share and connect your social media. You can add an SEO. Um, what we're gonna wanna do though is go to back to the home panel here. And let's start with analytics. Uh, you can see this is where your analytics pulls in, but you need to set up the analytics first with Google Analytics as well. So let's go to settings and we're going to go to advanced. This is where you can add uh, different things like external API keys, such as Google Analytics. You'll need your account number. So let's show you that. Uh, you wanna go to, just do a Google search for Google Analytics. It'll pop up analytics.google.com. And if you don't have Google Analytics, what you're going to want to do is create an analytics account using a Gmail or a Google account. Um, my computer's a little slow right now, so bear with me. My hair's a little bit of a mess. Got some scruff going. All right, so in the dashboard, you wanna to go to admin in the bottom left of the panel. Uh, you can see your accounts right here. I'm gonna create a new account. These are just some fun accounts I play around with. Let's go to create account, and we'll call this Mac Frederick, because it's for my website. I typically have all these checked, you know, it shares a lot of data with Google. I don't really care, some people do. If you don't like sharing this stuff, like account specialist, you, you don't want anybody calling you. Check that off. And this is for a website, not a mobile app. So click web, hit next. Mac Frederick website, or we'll just call this Mac Frederick, URL, HTTPS, I believe. Let's hit this button. Oops. Let's see if it works, MacFrederick.com. This is my Squarespace right here, we're gonna back out of that. If your domain is up and active and published, you can just copy this, go back to Google Analytics, paste that here, get rid of the HTTPS right there, just it's already right there. Select category, marketing, no. Pick a category that relates to your business, uh, what do we, I mean really none of these, so we'll just hit other, time zone, I'm Eastern time zone, New York, hit create, of course, sign all of Google's, agree to all of Google's terms, let them control all your data, it's amazing, psych. Google really locks you in there, like controlling and owning your data, like seeing what sites you go to, what information you collect on your own website, using that information against you or for you, however you look at it. But now you'll see you're logged into the panel here. If you hit this back arrow, you can see that you have an account view, property view, and user view. Uh, here's where you choose between the accounts. Within the account, you have different properties, like let's say I had two websites for myself with different URLs. Uh, so we're under this property, you can see property settings, and under property settings, you can see your tracking ID. 
I like to go down here and check some of these things off to like get interest in demographic reporting. It allows for better remarketing. If you need to get your analytics tracking code underneath, you know, you can go to user management, add and remove users, uh, or you can go to tracking info or what you want to do is go to tracking info if you want to get your code. Uh, your global site tag will be right here that you can add to the website. You can also actually uh, create your property through Google Tag Manager and uh, create something from there. If you want to copy your tracking ID, as we saw within the Google Analytics uh, external API keys, enter your Google Analytics account number, bam, you enter that right there, hit save. And now we're going to move on to the Facebook pixel. Back over to marketing and Facebook pixel and ads. So this is where you put your Facebook pixel. So to get that pixel, you want to go to business.facebook.com like right here. You want to choose your business account. Um, if you created a business account, you should have that. If you're using an agency, just talk to them. We're going to go to momentum digital agency account right here. And within this, you can see your different ad accounts which if you have an ad account, you can run ads with Facebook. We're gonna hit business settings, brings us to another page. And from that, you know, you can see pages right here. I should have a page for Mac Frederick. Not yet, we'll add that. So to add that page, you wanna hit request access to a page, start typing in the page. If you're the admin of the page, it'll automatically accept this for you. So we're gonna request access. Since you're already a page admin, you requested and it was approved automatically. Great, you can scroll down in here again and add people to it if you personally wanna manage that business page. Hit assign through the user. We're gonna jump over more importantly to data sources and pixels. So this is where you can name the pixels and see the different pixels. I do not have one for myself. So we're gonna hit add. Mac Frederick pixel, just name the pixel. You can copy the website here if you want. Oops. Copy that, oops. Paste it here, hit continue. Then it's going to walk you through the setup of adding that pixel. Set up the pixel now. Uh, you can manually add it, email instructions to a developer or add code from a partner integration, which is what we'll do. We are using Squarespace. So you can follow the directions prompted here, turn on advanced automatic matching. Uh, this page is optional. You want to go to settings, advanced code injection, which is not correct. You can actually Go to continue, add the pixel, Facebook pixels and ads. That's where you go to pixel ID and add that right there. So we're gonna copy that pixel, hit continue. Back over here to the site, add pixel ID. So this is where you add that, hit save. Back to marketing, just to double check, click that option again, you see it's still saved there. Um, I like to use the Pixel Helper. So it's a Google Chrome extension called the Google Pixel Helper, uh, which is this one, Facebook Pixel Helper. I'm sorry, Facebook Pixel Helper. You can see that it's green, it's got a green arrow here. And you can also add Google Tag Assistant. If you enable that, add that Chrome extension for Google Tag Assistant. You can see we have Google Analytics. If we match up that code, 176, 176. If we go to the Pixel, it would be 8080. So go over here, pixel 8080. Back to Squarespace. Uh, we're good on this. Back to Facebook. You can send test traffic. Wrong one again. Copy that. Paste it here. Send test traffic to make sure it's working. All right, you can see it there. Let's see if it pulls in the report. There's no activity yet, give it one second. Active, last active within the hour. Great, then you can set up events and custom conversions. We're just gonna hit continue. 
then you can create ads or set up Facebook analytics. We're gonna hit close. And now from those pixels, we can see Google Tag Assistant working. Facebook Pixel Helper working and we are good to go. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't hit like, share, subscribe, comment below. If you're a big Squarespace user, it's so easy and friendly to use. Squarespace, make me money, give me affiliate commissions. My name is Mac Frederick with Momentum. If this was helpful, hit that thumbs up. I'm glad to be of service. Check out my website, macfrederick.com. Give me some feedback, give me some like, likes and comments below and uh, stay tuned for weekly videos and updates. Talk to you soon. Peace, make it a good one.